All oh, right, immune boosting chicken soup. Well, to make a chicken soup, it makes great sense to start with the chicken. And what we've got here is a British free range whole chicken. I'm using free range because uh, the better the chicken, the better the soup. Right, um, in addition to that, I've got some mushrooms. Mushrooms are excellent source of vitamin D and a great immune booster. And these are chestnut mushrooms, British chestnut mushrooms. And these ones, Polish porcini mushrooms, which I've uh, just soaked in some water overnight to let them uh, swell up. The other thing we want in this is some nice vegetables. Now to that end, I've got some Welsh baby potatoes and the newer the potato, the more vitamins in it. So uh, old potatoes, yeah, nice, flowery, delicious, but they don't have quite the vitamin content. So we want vitamins. So the newer the potatoes you can get, the better. A couple of carrots, organic if you can get them. I've got some unwaxed lemons over here. Uh, I'll probably just use one of those, but lemons are packed with vitamin C and really good and the excellent flavouring for chicken. I've got some herbs. Now, I'll run you through the herbs. I've got some thyme. The, the, the thyme that's actually in that is organic thyme, which I've sourced separately and just refilled that little glass um, bottle. And I've also got some organic sage, which I've done the same with and just put them in an, an old uh, jar. I've got some oregano oil. This is wild harvested oregano oil. And this one contains a minimum of 84% carvacrol. Now that is a great immune booster. I'm probably just going to drop eight drops of that into the soup right at the end. I've got some rosemary, which is really excellent. That grows in my garden, so I've got no problems there. Uh, some of these ones you're going to have trouble finding unless you live somewhere in North America or Canada. And these are from my lovely friend Emma in Nova Scotia. And these are sweet fern, which I'm, I've actually been guarding rather jealously, but I think, I think this immune booster soup really deserves a few of those. Some sweet gale. Uh, these are sweet gale nutlets, which you've got to use rather sparingly. So that they are rather cute. I don't know if you can see those, but they are rather cute. Little sort of pine coney looking things, only miniature ones. Really nice, but uh, just a, a sprinkle of those will do. And this is lamb's quarter seeds, which uh, she also gave me. And I will uh, I'll drop a few of those into it. So that's the herbs out of the way. Of course, we're gonna need onion because it's a soup. I've got a couple of leeks and garlic. Garlic is an amazing immune boosting herb. It's a wonderful thing to use. Uh, if you don't like garlic, put up with it just for the duration, boys and girls, because you will uh, certainly feel the benefits of it. If you keep mushrooms for any length of time, remove the plastic top and just put a paper top on them and you'll find that they last a lot longer. Keeps your, uh, keeps your mushrooms much more fresh. Not necessary in this instance because I'm going to be cooking all those in this wonderful soup stew. Right, the first thing I want to do is get this chicken roasted because a roasted chicken imparts much better flavour into a soup or stew. And also to that end, I'll probably roast uh, some of the. I'll probably roast the carrots, the onion. Uh, the garlic will go inside the cavity of the chicken as it roasts, as will half a lemon, and the other half will just go straight into the soup. And um, the leeks, they'll have to just go straight into the soup afterwards. Right, uh, the rosemary, that can go inside the cavity of the chicken with the garlic. All right, I'll just prep all this up, and then we'll get back to you. All right, I'm not going to stand on ceremony. I'm just going to cram all that garlic in there. I'll take a bit of the paper off. But these will slip nicely out of the paper skins. Just get as much of the paper off as I can. The paper skin off. And then just cram all that in there. And I'm going to do lemon. But I'm just going to cut... I think I'll just put half a lemon in there into the 
cavity I put some lemon in that's a quarter and another quarter for a half a lemon and we said we'd put in this stick of rosemary which we got out in the garden you can use dried rosemary just put a pinch of that, that inside and on the outside I'm just going to rub some olive oil and some salt and some black pepper and garlic so just SPG on the outside of that and then I'm going to roast it at 180 degrees for about an hour or until it's uh, brown enough at the top I'm going to roast it open it won't make a difference and, uh, uh, because I'm going to be cutting it up putting it straight into a stew pot and then cooking it down I've left the heels on and the reason I've done that is these are full of a kind of gelatin that's really really good for your bones and your immune system so I'll leave those in and the same goes with the wings and the wing tips I don't cut any of that off the skin is also excellent for boosting your immunity you don't believe all the rubbish you hear about that the skin is excellent for the human body right so uh, I'm going to get on and roast that now I'm just going to cover that with some salt and SPG like I said and um, roast it off Put garlic salt all over the outside I've already covered it in oil doesn't need to be too fancy because this isn't going to be presented on the table as a roasted bird and that's the garlic salt to put on it and it, in these um, times where we need to boost our immune system garlic salt garlic is really good so our herbs as I've said before so good stuff in good stuff out that just now just goes in the oven and uh, I put it in an initially hot oven which I then turned down to 180 degrees 180 degrees Celsius which is about 350 Fahrenheit okay the chicken's still in the oven it's been roasting for about 45 minutes or so and these are the items I've got left so I've got potatoes got the mushrooms all chopped up got the leeks chopped up I've got the carrots and the onions chopped up I'm going to be chucking those in with the chicken in a minute to uh, roast them just for the last few minutes alongside the chicken I've got the other half of that lemon cut into two quarters I've got sage I've got thyme I've got the Canadian herbs I told you about if you've got sage you've got thyme if you've got marjoram any kind of herbs like that are going to be really good for this so uh, just use what you got don't worry about it and I'm going to put a couple of drops of this oregano oil this is like essential oil and that's going to go in there it's a really good quality one and the mushrooms are just going to get tipped into the stew as are the leeks so it's just a matter of getting these in with the um, chicken now roasting them off the last few minutes of the chicken roasting and then we'll take the chicken out cool it down enough so we can cut it up and then get it in the pot okay that chicken's looking pretty good at the moment what I'm gonna do is just cut down here force them apart I've seen army cooks do that to speed up the roasting process and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chuck those in and around it and give them a chance to that's the onion and carrot I might actually chuck the no I won't I was gonna chuck the leeks in but they'll do in good time uh, and what they will do now is just cook and roast alongside the uh, the chicken for the last sort of 20 minutes so back in the oven with that you'll see there I've just flipped the chicken over and that's so that some of those uh, juices drip down through the breast to keep it nice and moist don't want it drying out too much it's not going to be presented on the table so it doesn't really matter what it looks like all right that's the chicken out of the oven I'm just going to let it cool off for a bit now so I can uh, work with it um, a little more easily and then we'll transfer all this I'll break break some of the joints off and transfer everything into the stock pot and then add the rest of the vegetables and herbs and turn it into something amazing 
Uh, right, I've got the um, chicken cooled off a little bit and broken up as you see. And th the entire contents of that save these little things, which is the garlic which I've taken out, which I'm going to just peel them out, and the lemon skins which are a little bit bitter and I don't really want them in the finished, um, in the finished soup. So what we're going to do now is transfer all that into a stock pot and put all the other vegetables in it and herbs and then get it cooked up and see what we end up with. So that's the contents of the roasting tin which have been poured into there and bones and all, everything all together. We want the goodness from those bones, that's the immune boosting stuff. And then I've got leeks, potatoes, mushrooms, herbs more lemon which I'm just going to squeeze into there and there's the garlic that it was um, that I've just I've literally just pinched each end of the garlic and squeezed out the actual garlic pulp so that's going in I'll probably just put a knife through that a few times chop it up nicely before it goes in and then uh, we'll get it all into the pot all right into that goes all my leeks those mushrooms The soaked porcini mushrooms, they'll all go in. I'm going to put in a generous pinch of sage, so that's a pinch of sage, maybe a little bit more because I can. Again a generous pinch of thyme, thyme is particularly good. My Canadian herbs which I've mixed up and a squeeze of lemon, extra vitamin C, that's the other half of that lemon, that's vitamin C, try to avoid getting the pips in there and I've just mashed up the garlic pulp that can go in, lots and lots of garlic boys and girls it's really good for you, so we've got some really immune boosting qualities and into that can go the potatoes I'm putting them in whole and the only thing we've not put in there is the uh, oregano oil or the oregano oil and that will go in stir I'll just put eight drops of that in just before I serve it all right and all that remains to do now is top that off with hot water I'm going to fill that right up to just about an inch below the top lip of the pan and I'll give that a stir, a moderate stir. The reason I put the potatoes in whole is because I don't eat them and my brother does so they're easier to pick out when they're whole but feel free to chop yours up or even just add some uh, wholemeal pasta or something in there. I'm dropping in some salt couple of teaspoons of salt, plenty of black pepper because I can and a bit more black pepper because it's me give that another stir just to get the salt distributed and we do leave the bones in there so when you're actually eating this you're picking the bones out of it but we're leaving the bones in there for a very very good reason and that is for immune boosting so I'm going to bring that to the boil and then simmer it at a low simmer for about an hour and then it should be ready all right let's have a look at this it's looking good right I'm going to give that a taste get a spoon in there have a taste that's pretty good, just adjust for seasoning now, a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit more and some pepper, a bit more pepper and remember I said I was going to put a drop of the oregano oil in to give it an extra boost, I can turn it off now and give it a squirt of that So about 10-11 drops 
Mmm, that really smells great. Really strong oregano smell. Lovely. Okay, right, let's we'll get that um, plated up and see what it looks like. I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of parsley on top of that because another herb will not hurt. Maybe another little blast of black pepper because why not? And then that, boys and girls, is a delicious chicken immune boosting soup with mushrooms and lots of garlic and plenty of herbs. If you can hear slurping away in the background, that's my brother enjoying his bowl. And this is my one. Oh. That's a really rich chickeny broth. You can certainly taste the herbal flavours in that. And that oregano oil right at the end. Really give it something. Very nice. Let's have a bit of chicken. I can pick some out. There you go. Mm. That's just wonderful. Marvellous. You've got to try this one, boys and girls. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.